Yo, guys, Urban Boss brings you the best UK reactions to rap, hip hop, and urban music from all around the world. And guys, before we start, I just want to say I just got some really bad news about 30 minutes ago before doing this. A, a really good friend of mine I used to go to school with. I literally found out he passed yesterday in, well, I'm not going to go anything more. I just want to just say rest in peace to my friend. Really? Really? Anyway, guys, let's get on with the show, today's show. So, guys, today's show, of course, it's going to feature our man, Tom McDonald. So hang over, gang. I hope all is well with you. We're at the weekend, guys. We just had a Tom's Day yesterday, so guys, what is our man Tom McDonald up to? I think it's time to check him out and check out what Tom is up to. So. <sighs> so what have you got here? So guys, it says here, Holly Weird. There's evil stuff going on at a high level in the music industry. Agree or nah? Agree or disagree? And here we've got Sam Smith. And there's something I wanted to say about this as well, guys. So people think Sam Smith's Grammy performance was satanic. But guys, before we even go into this, and I've been thinking about this for a long while, guys, I am so confused. So I'm trying to kill two birds with one stone here, guys. And Sam Smith is an artist who I absolutely love Sam Smith's music. But my issue with Sam Smith and my issue with political correctness is I will get myself into trouble because I am not allowed to say, if I mention Sam Smith, the words of like his, him or whatever, I have to say the words they. <laughs> I remember the first time I heard a story, I read a story about Sam Smith recently and they talked about Sam Smith and then they started saying, they are they were and i was totally confused it went straight over my head so this thing about gender and gender nouns i don't even know what the word is people i have no idea and i do you know what i'm too old and too long in the two to even understand what they're talking about i really am but guys as a singer i rate sam smith but now i haven't seen the grammy performance i haven't seen it guys and in about an hour and a half or an hour's time, we're going to be seeing the, sorry, in about an hour's time, guys, we'll be seeing the Brit performance for 2023. So it's got Stormzy and a few other people. So I'm interested to see what that's like. But this was the Grammys. And I think it was a week or so ago. I don't know, guys. I digress. Let us check out what's happening here. And it's Hollywood. There's evil stuff going on at a high level in the music industry. Agree or not? Nah? Okay, guys, let's roll. I swear these artists worship the devil. So Tom starts with, I swear these artists worship the devil. But when you heard that music at the start, I don't know if it's something with Sam Smith or if it's something else. I don't know because I haven't heard any of Sam Smith's latest music. I just know some of Sam Smith's hits and some of them are absolutely amazing, amazing voice. But when you heard those, that voice, that male voice just now, you know, the, and it's really weird because I just, it just came into my mind. Isn't it really weird how there's a thin line? They say, guys, there's a thin line between love and hate and there's a thin line between good and evil, it seems, because... You've got these, they sound like monk voices, whatever, but singing these, I don't even know what you want to call them, these songs that obviously are not are not aimed at good. May, let's leave it at that, guys. But yeah, it always reminds me of like monks and things like that, but who am I to say? I don't know. Anyway, guys, let's just check out our man Tom McDonald. I'm not going to say, oh, and he's got the black eyes, guys, so that means he's stoked. Something's got him amped, really. And he says here, I swear this artist worship the devil. Whoa. Is he talking? Really? 
Guys, let me know in the comments section who's Tom McDonald talking about. Guys, I'm gonna watch this. It's only 57 seconds, so let's watch this in full. I swear these artists worship the devil. You see the symbols in their videos, it's not accidental. They sold their souls to be famous, it's not a debt they can settle. Just check the lyrics, you can hear it on every instrumental. These award shows aren't about the music or visuals. They're designed to be identical to satanic rituals. You buy tickets to concerts, you're not aware they're performing. Black mass and the fans, the part of the ceremony. The industry been infected, Illuminati agendas. Communicate with the youth, these are messages in our records. It's all black magic. Wanna hear the devil? Play the track backwards. This is facts, witchcraft. In our rap albums, celebrities have clearly been cursed. Research the conspiracy first. Oh, guys, guys, I swear I have never heard this ever. I was going to play it all the way through, guys, but Tom has <laughs> he's opened up a can of whoop, 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 whoop. I nearly swore. Really? He's opened up a can of really, Tom, you <laughs> really? <laughs> Is that Sam Smith? Really? Oh my goodness, guys, I've got to break this down. This is just really, <laughs> I nearly swore my channel. <laughs> oh my gosh. Right, let's, guys, I'm sorry, I was gonna play this in full, but oh my gosh. Whoa. I have to admit, guys, I was watching Nova Rockefeller. Was it on? Tuesday was it Wednesday or Thursday she was just going live I think there's about 300 of us in 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 the room I wanted to ask her I wanted to ask her about her videography and how she shoots videos and this that and everything else and where she gets her ideas for the films but someone and people in in the chat were starting talking about satanic stuff and masonic stuff and I was wondering what they're on about but I think I understand it now because she did mention Tom saying something that you know they and then people start laughing etc etc so it must maybe have been all about this but i did not know that and that was literally a couple of days back but old nova rockefeller was 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 in the chat yeah that was interesting actually i like nova nova's a very nice person it would be impossible i can't imagine anyone chatting with nova rockefeller and not being friends with her <laughs> she's a lovely person people trust me on that and actually they talked about her upside down cross on on her neck and yeah that was all about the song what was it with the jesus piece jesus on my neck etc etc so she explained that but guys let's let's go into this really oh my gosh <laughs> I swear these artists worship the devil. You see the symbols in their videos, it's not accidental. So he actually says, I swear these artists, plural, worship the devil. So it's not indicative or directly against Sam Smith. So I swear these artists worship the devil. And I think he said, if you look at their videos, sorry, I missed that a bit because I was thinking ahead. Hold on the devil you see the symbols in their videos it's not accidental all right so he said i swear these artists worship the devil if you see the symbols in the videos it's not accidental so and it's true what tom is saying because i know quite a bit about music the music industry but also about tv films production all that kind of stuff i won't go into it now but i'll go into it another time and to be honest with you guys there is nothing you'll see on the screen which happens by a coincidence or anything everything that is in the shot is there for a reason <laughs> because you know all these things cost money etc etc so whatever they're trying to convey in a shot or in the music etc it's there for a reason everything has to have a reason everything has to have a point so if you see something in the shot there's a reason behind it we may not know what the reason is but there's a reason trust me on that so he says here if you look at the artist, the symbols, nothing is there by an accident. It's not a coincidence. And that I have to agree with Tom. So if you go into screenwriting, etc., everything you write in a script, every bit of dialogue, every bit of whatever content on that page has to mean something. There's a page of 60 seconds worth and it directs you and you know you need to know 
what's on that page and what's being directed from the page to the screen. Everything has to have a point. Everything, almost every single word has to have a point. <sighs> Guys, I'm going to wheel this and let's come again. I wanted this to be a short one, but it may be a long I swear these artists worship the devil You see the symbols in their videos, it's not accidental They sold their souls to be famous, it's not a debt they can settle Just check the lyrics, you can hear it on every instrument Oh my gosh So Tom says that these artists sold their souls to the devil to become famous And it's a deal that they can't break <laughs> Something that you can hear it on the instrumental Do you know what, I'm going to break it down one bar at a time Because... <laughs> For some reason, I think it's the shock of hearing about my friend who passed. God rest your soul. Really? I cannot believe it. It's such a... Really? Guys, this world is too short, so make the most of it, guys. Trust me on that, guys. Live a good life, guys, and regret nothing, because our time can come at any moment. I'm just shocked. Any moment. Guys, I'm going to wheel this back and just concentrate on Tom McDonald what he's saying here so this is all about hollywood so if you think hollywood 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 is weird you decide oh so he said that these artists so if you look at the videos they're all full of symbols but they sold their souls to become famous and it's a debt they can't settle and he says here, the lyrics, you can hear it on every instrument. Check the lyrics. Ah, oh, now I know what he's saying. So check the lyrics, you can hear it on every instrumental. And it's really weird this because I was looking back at some old tunes that I love. Like say for instance, one of the groups I love is the Rolling Stones. It's really weird how so many of their song titles or their songs are about the devil, like Sympathy for the Devil and things like that. I can't think of any titles off the top of my head at the minute, but if you go through a lot of recording artists, it's weird, but it's not even that. And I think what Tom is saying is that in a lot of the lyrics, they're always saying they have like so many demons inside them and all these problems. So, you know, it, it's weird. It's, is it a coincidence? I don't know. I don't know. Really? These award shows aren't about the music or visuals. They're designed to be identical to satanic rituals. Oh. I didn't know that. Well, this is a weird thing, people. So what Tom is saying is he's saying these award shows are nothing but satanic rituals. And guys, I know nothing about this. And I'll tell you the reason why. I do not watch award shows, even though it's funny that I'm going to be watching the Brits. To be honest with you, the first Brits I watched was last year because I knew that there'd be some hip hop artists. I saw Dave on there, you know, with a few if you oh, i can't remember now a few others etc who was on there so this is the only reason i watched it. i just watched that section with dave but i don't watch anything to do with opening ceremonies closing ceremonies whatever i just think they're boring that's my opinion i've never watched them from the olympics and all that sort of stuff blah 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 never watched them i went to olympics in 2012 i didn't do any ceremonies i'm, I'm into the sport nothing else and into the music nothing else so i don't know if this is true so guys let me know in the comment section i i've literally never watched the grammys <laughs> really so i think what, what was that one uh, with will smith i only caught that clip the oscars i've never watched the oscars i mean why would i waste my time two three hours just sitting there watching people get awards really i've got better things to do with my time people but I don't know. So, guys, if you guys watch these award ceremonies, you watch these music ceremonies, you watch these whatever, let me know what you're thinking. Because I can honestly tell you, I don't watch them. I never have. So, I cannot comment. Ah, uh, looks like I've got a problem with my system again. It's really weird, isn't it? When I'm starting to talk about stuff like this, <laughs> is this YT? Is this YT <laughs> monitoring me? <laughs> really? Oh my gosh, if this crashes, guys, I'm going to go absolute bonkers. Really? Okay, let's go. Let's carry on. I might not be able to forward one and rewind this, guys. Really? Well, you buy tickets to concerts, you're not aware they're performing. Black mass and the fans are part of the ceremony. So he's saying that these concerts and tickets, whatever, that people are buying for these concerts, they're going to black masses. Really? The industry been infected, Illuminati agendas Communicate with the youth, using messages in our record 
So the industry and the Illuminati agendas. Okay. It's a top black magic. Wanna hear the devil play the track backwards? This is <laughs> So then Tom says, do you want to hear the devil or play the track backwards? And I think it's called, is it back masking? Masking? I can't remember. But around the time of like the Beatles, Judas Priest, Saxon, all, all these groups. Is it Saxon? I can't remember. Not Saxon. I can't, Black Sabbath and all these groups, whatever. Allegedly, it was thought. I don't even know if it's true or fault. I don't know. I'm, I'm being honest with you guys. But on some of these records that if you actually played them backwards you'd hear satanic messages i don't know if it's true i don't know so i can't go there but guys if you know anything let me know in the comment section all i can say to you guys is that with music music is very very powerful and i've been hearing stories over the years that the actual frequency of music is really important because if people are aware if you play sounds at certain frequencies, of course, I think a lot of people know about sub, sub bass and all that sort of stuff that can actually shake the foundations of buildings and things like that. But also at certain resonance at a certain frequency, it can literally crumble walls. And that's what they said was, do you know the horns of Jericho when they came out, they were laying siege to Jericho. They blew on the horns at a certain frequency and the walls of Jericho crumbled. And a lot of science and technology was developed after the Second World War, and it was put into place, and I know in the 50s and 60s. So there's a lot of stuff there that I know about. I know quite a lot about it actually, but I'm not gonna talk about it here. So there, there is some substance to what my man's saying, but I don't know so much about the back masking of music records or is it the master tapes i'm not sure or if it's the records themselves and the master tapes i don't know but guys there's been a lot of hearsay about that over the years i'm not going to go too much into it at the moment but it's a question to ask yourself let's keep going in the records it's all black magic want to hear the devil play the track backwards this is facts witchcraft in our rap albums Whoa. celebrities witchcraft in our rap albums and it's funny because i covered now who is it rd the other day but i didn't mention it i missed it i didn't mention it and rd's track was called loser but in one of rd's bars he said his mother was a witch now is that true or false i don't know but i don't know did he say she is a witch or a white witch or something i don't know i have to go back and listen to that but when i i thought really you're joking Crafted in our rap albums celebrities have clearly been cursed research the conspiracy first it's so obvious they're taunting us with lil uzi vert say it slow sound it out lil lucifer There's devils lil uzi vert oh hold on i've never heard lil uzi i've never heard lil is that a rapper uzi vert said hold on hold on sorry guys i've missed this my machine's playing up again. Research the conspiracy first. So research the conspiracy first. It's so obvious they're taunting us with Lil Uzi Vert. It's so obvious they're taunting us with Lil Uzi Vert. Lil Uzi Vert, Lil Uzi Vert, Lil Uzi Vert, Lil Uzi Vert. Oh, really? Oh, really? Vert, say it slow. Lil Uzi Vert, say it slow. Sound it out. Sound Lil it Lucifer. Out. Lil Lucifer. Lilusivert, Lilusivert. Oh my, really? Devils around me, close on their mantles. I walk through the valley, they follow in shadows. Oh my gosh. Guys, <laughs> I hope I don't get struck off of the old YT for this. Really? I wasn't expecting this, guys. So. Literally, our man Tom McDonald is saying that Holly weird, Hollywood, Holly weird. <sighs> and he's saying the music artists, some of them are weird. <laughs> some of them allegedly are praising the devil in satanic rituals and bits and pieces like that. Guys, 
it's something to think about. I don't know. I don't even watch these things. So literally tonight, I'm going to be watching the Brits. <laughs> Is anything on the Brits like that? I don't know. But you're saying that the rappers as well are involved in it. Really? With witchcraft, he was saying? My goodness. But you know what? It's something I might just check out myself and have a little look, look, see. But yeah, that was Tom McDonald. So for some reason, I haven't seen the Grammys. I don't know anything about Sam Smith. He's supposed to have done or not to have done. I don't watch these things. So am I missing out? Should I be watching them? Or are they even interesting? I don't know. But guys, here at Urban Bars, we are never going to say never to anything. Not in that aspect. Because this is a free world. Or at least it should be. So in a free world, people should have a right to speak and a right to inquire and a right to be able to talk about what's on their mind so long as they're not being rude or offensive. But guys, so this is Tom McDonald. He's literally dropped this. I'm not sure when he dropped this. It may have been a few days ago. But what Tom is saying <laughs> is that, well, there's more than meets the eye to what we see. Guys, this is serious. Let me know in the comments section what you think. Is he just funning? Is he trolling? Does he have a point? Do you have any ideas what's going on? I've never watched any of these music industry awards. I've never been interested in them, guys. And that's even like black mobos and all that sort of nonsense, blah, blah, blah. Yes, they're a good thing, I suppose, to reward people, to acknowledge people, to recognize people. But do I want to sit through a show and watch? I'm not going to say any names, whatever. Not really, not really. I mean, could you maybe download the performance afterwards so you just see a snippet? Probably, but we'll see, we'll see. I mean, I don't even know who's going to be the halftime show on, what's it called? My mind's gone, guys, it totally's gone. On, on the Super Bowl. I watched last year's Super Bowl because I knew it was going to be a hip hop. You know, I knew we were going to have 50, 50 Cent. I knew we were going to have Snoop Dogg. We knew we were going to have Eminem. Dr. Dre. So of course I was going to watch that. But apart from that, guys, that's what I watched. Really? <laughs> really? But guys, seriously, on a serious tip, <sighs> we need to make certain that we look after our man Tom McDonald because when people start talking out about certain aspects and certain things, sometimes it doesn't end well so guys we need to make a watching brief on our man tom mcdonald and i pray god that tom is fine and healthy and well seriously people sometimes people don't like people speaking out they don't like people you know breaking the status quo or the status quo but it's whichever way you want to say it they like people to toe the line and not to put their heads over the parapet I'm not scared to put my head over the parapet, guys. Really? Really? Do you, do you really think I'm... Really? No. Anyone who knows me will tell you. I ain't scared. Of, I'm not scared. Really? You must be joking. But guys, Tom McDonald strikes again. That was interesting. Hollywood. Let me know in the comment section what you think, guys. But make certain you look after yourselves. You look after each other. Go out, have fun, guys. Guys, this is our world. Go out, have fun. Don't let anyone stop you. Look after yourselves, look after each other, but make certain you come back to the next Urban Bars reaction, guys. I'm out.